you know, tell me a little bit about the restaurant space. Cause this isn't a space I don't think you were in two years ago, but it seems like a, a big strategic push, push for you now. Yeah. We started about two years ago, thinking about it and working on it. Um, but announcements are having more recent, but it's been years in the making. Okay. Um, so when we came up with the three pillar strategy, the, the one we picked was food ordering as, as the first one. And we thought that food ordering for us is what books were to Amazon, right? So Amazon started selling books first. They only sold books uh, and they became very good at it. Yes. And they started selling more things and the learning they had from selling books carried over to selling the music CDs and eventually everything from A to Z now, right? So we thought let's do food ordering because of a number of reasons, food ordering was the right choice and it's a, it's a hard one to, to do right. And we like to take on hard challenges and, but once we do it well, it will be easy to then add other types of services on top of it. Uh, got it. And so your sense is that that market's not well served today in, in this space because it's changed a lot. And I know there's a lot of folks who are investing in this technology. In fact, some of the really big restaurant chains have bought uh, voice AI technology to integrate. Some of them have then turned around and decided they weren't going to use it after they acquired it. But uh, you know, obviously that market's changed a lot in the last two years, particularly the labor shortages completely changed the level of urgency around automation. Uh, yes. One of the reasons we put for, pick, pick food ordering is because it's really hard to do well and our technology is very suitable for it. Um, for example, we have a unique approach to NLU or natural language understanding that allows us to understand very complex conversations. And when people want to order food, they have complex queries, right? They, yes. they want a burger that has this and that and not that and that. And sometimes they order like three things in one query and then they follow up and I want to change the first one or second one. And we are so good at that, right? And others are not. Uh, so uh, it is. It is underserved, the, the, the area is under, the industry is underserved and the demand is high, right? Because of the shortage of staff and um, it's just the uh, adoption and um, has, has been incredible. Uh, we actually have to put people on the waiting list like for when we built the food ring for phone lines uh, and now we are ready to take on new customers. We have to put them on the waiting list, right? Because you have to gradually process them and so on. Um, and uh, not many players, usually the players are, they don't have the core tech, so they have their life using APIs from others. And we think it's very critical to have the core tech to succeed because you need to change the core tech. Like for food ordering, the menu items are not part of the regular English vocabulary, right? So you can't use an off the shelf ASR, you can do it, maybe it will work half the time, but then it just fails very quickly. So you need to be able to adapt it. 